welcome back to my youtube channel so today in today's video as per title you are going to watch me transform my hair from this to a very very cool sleek baller my hair shrinks a lot and i i this is the highly requested like a lot of people want to know how do i transform my hair from like the afro because my hair also curls a lot so like how do you do that without like damaging it you know so i am currently just um i'm braiding it and so yeah something just crossed my mind so basically what i'm going to do today is i'm going to unbraid my hair wash them and then transform them into a slick baller and i'm going to be taking you guys through the whole stage um so yeah currently busy removing and then i'm gonna shower and also wash my hair and then now um i'm going to wash them fortunately i can't take my phone with me into the shower so yeah i'll catch you guys once i'm done i just finished washing my hair and as you can see the curls are popping honey popping okay <laughs> oh okay they're really wet so yeah um this is just for an in-depth look. So you guys are going to see me transform my hair from like big curly to I'm a slick bun. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just got out of the shower, so hence my hair looks like this, but yeah. I love the curls. And mind you, I did not use anything for my curls. Literally just went into the shower, put in my soap and yeah the curls so as per previous video my hair was curly and as you can see now i detangled them i used this afro comb to remove the tangle it was quite painful but okay so let's get into the main part of this video why we are here so today we are going to be doing a slick bun I'm going to show you guys how I achieved my slick bun from this bush to slick bun. Okay. What you need is your shea butter. A lot of people always ask me what do I use for my hair. This is what I use. Um, Jojo's shea butter. You can follow them on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. It's quite affordable and it really lasts. The next thing you will need is your next sheen gel okay not necessarily next sheen but i usually use um what is this um either iso plus i don't know if you guys can see what okay but yeah i either use iso plus eco styling gel I'm gonna so the other thing you will need is your spray can okay there's water in here né? so mind the packaging don't mind the packaging there's water in here the next thing you'll need is your different combs, brushes. Ew, this brush is dirty. <laughs> so 
so you need this to lay the hair you need this one for you know spotting and you know the edges you'll need this one for combing and the brush for the edges you also need hairpins i keep my hairpins in this thingy you'll need this yes definitely and then the last piece is you will need your hair for the ponytail i got this hair from it was a cosmetica in town i chose this specific hair because it's similar to my hair type it has a wave effect and my hair also gets wavy when i like add gel to it you also need your ribbons so yeah without any further ado let's get right into the video you have to decide which side you want your line some people prefer it in the middle some prefer it on the side like me and this is my good side so i'm just busy parting my hair so this is where i usually like to put my line so i'm just busy parting my hair make sure your line is straight and you know defined you don't want a skew line So now that we have decided where our line is going to be, you take your water, your water can, and you just spray, spray. Oh, it's biovet. I wish I could literally open this thing and just pour the water in my hair. <laughs> always important to add water because um water gives your hair that soft effect and my hair is naturally very hard so i need it water is my best friend the next thing you have to do is um okay this is not a necessity but I always add moisture to my hair before I add the gels and the stuff because gel is I don't know if toxic is the right word for hair but it's not really healthy so I just add my shea butter especially on this like the areas where I'm going to be putting the gel um, which is obviously here just to it acts as a protective layer so that your hair doesn't you know break from the gel So you notice that I'm not really focusing on my scalp because the gel is not all going on the scalp, it's going on the skin. I mean on the hair, sorry. So yeah, like I said, this is not really a necessary step, but I always advise that you add some moisture onto your hair. I mean some... Why am I so confused? you know some moisture onto your hair so i'm just going to part my hair what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my ribbon and i'm going to take my comb and i'm going to start from the back just taking piece by piece and putting it into a baller piece by piece combing it take everything at once take piece by piece gets quite exhausting at some point 
So you notice that I'm taking like even parts, not like piece by piece. So this is how it kind of, you know, because you are trying to get it into a bola. There's still more hair here, so I'm just going to pull some to the back. Remember to leave some for the for your line and everything. Tired. The next thing you're going to do is tie your hair. Okay. Once you've tied it, now it's it's you have to even out that um how do you call it those humps okay and then we go back to our line which was here and now you take this hair and you take your your brush for laying the hair down add water again as you can see my hair is curling again Ugh, my hair and water are not friends always make sure your line is nicely defined because this is the crucial part that will determine whether your line will be straight or not And the next thing you are going to do is take your gels and then you are just going to brush it into the hair and then you are going to untie the bun so that you can add the hair you just combed to the back you can take a comb and just you know align everything before tying it <sighs> this is a job and a half Now that we've done this side, we are going to this side, and with this side, we are going to do it piece by piece. So, as you can see, my line here is not so straight. So, this hair belongs here initially. So, I'm going to part this one because this is going to be my main, you know, front piece. And I'm going to tie it along and then we're going to slick these ones to the back again you add water take the comb going to take your brush and the gel and just brush it to the back okay. it's coming along then again you're going to untie the bun Natural hair is such a fight. Oh my god. 
Okay. We take that. You can see it's coming right along. to untie this hair of ours it's always important to do layer by layer and I'm just going to take my brush and like give this layer a support with some gel look at our hair so hard guys Then you are going to take your thin brush so you can brush out this uneven um, brush lines. You want your thing as firm, your bala as firm as possible. Then we are going to come to this hair. Again, add your water. Then what you're going to do is just brush this hair along with the others. And I'm going to take some gel. The idea is for them to go to you know the back of the bun so now i'm going to let the bun free and then take some gel put it on right and then brush everything evenly if you feel like your line is not straight this is your opportunity to make it straight and i really feel like mine is not straight Okay, so yeah. Also remember to brush at the back, just so you lift them up a bit. Don't worry about like the uneven lines that you can always brush out. So now that you have tied, you kind of have to, when it comes to the end, you should fold this hair. Fold it. It shouldn't be standing out. Something like this. Okay, now we have to fix our band. First of all, I don't like the direction in which I combed the hair, so I'm just changing it, slightly bringing it to the side. I'm going to take some gel and I'm just going to smear it all over the hair so that it's nice and, you know, slick. You're going to take your small brush and you're just going to, you know, do the things. I don't like getting somewhere the next thing we want to do is take our hair 
and as you can see this is just a like it's one long thing and then I added a what do you call this? A tie. So I'm going to tie it on to my hair. <laughs> and then the next thing we are going to do is because I like mine um round is you're going to take everything together and just um tie it as a bun okay and then you're going to add your clips just for you know hold add at least like three or four for support Next thing you want to do is the edges. I'm so upset with my eyebrows. Okay, so now that we are at the edges, I'm not really good with edges, but we'll try. Uh, oh. You are just pulling out these small pieces, ne? Okay. Something like that. And then we come this side. And with this side, I like to add a bit of gel onto my edge line. And then start the process. Same thing we were doing on the other side, we do here. Okay. As you can see, I'm just like not going in, just focusing on this small hairs. Create a like a firm line where you can really see this is where they part mm. edges are so difficult guys Ooh. but yeah so basically these are my edges I like to just take a brush and like you know still make them part of everything they shouldn't look like they're just out there wondering so yeah I will come back for the reveal look and this is the final look Let me know how I did. Let me know if this is something that you're gonna try out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked or loved this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please share with your friends. Maybe they're struggling with how to sleep their natural hair. So yeah, send them right to our channel and have them subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.